sad state of affairs there in Tanzania. But now let's cross over to Rwanda to some dressing matters and wearing traditional costume often shows a sense of loyalty and pride in one's cultural values. And there are fewer places in the region where this is more evident than in Rwanda. Our, reports in, uh, rather our reporter in Kigali, Eugene Anangwe, now tells us how women there, young and old, are fully embracing the country's traditional dress code. This is not an Indian sari. It is Umushanana, Rwanda's traditional women's attire, made of light and heavy silk. Very soft and comes in bold prints and sometimes just plain cloth. The importance of Umushanana is that it works very well in symbolizing one of the Rwandan's cultural values. Our culture is made up of various aspects, the way we dress, the way we eat, and even how we talk. Therefore, the Mushanana goes a long way in showcasing our Rwandan culture in the way we dress. Traditionally, older women mainly wore this dress, but with the changing times, Mushanana is now mostly worn during formal occasions. Younger women too are embracing it more. Yeah, Mshana is an important uh, outfit because it uh, represents a culture of my country and uh, more of that I like it personally because when you wear a Mshana you look respectful, you look more beautiful, that's why I like it. But just how does one wear a Mshana now? This part is called Omuchenero after after person wears a vest like nicely, you tie you tie the mushanana in a very and very decent way because sometimes people are mistaken where when you, you, you tie it very badly, sometimes it stops you from walking. As, uh, as in your walking, it may, it may disturb you. After tying it, you have to put on umitero. When it's not, it's not tied together, you can use to fold it with your hand or you can, you can put some kind of, uh, some kind of jewel like that can tie it together. The Umushanana business is a lucrative one. The prices range from 100,000 Rwandan francs, an equivalent to 13,000 Kenya shillings and above, depending on the fabric of the cloth. Marie Gahongaire is a businesswoman who sells and also leases them out during ceremonies. Mm, but I really ripped a lot when the African Development Bank held its annual General Assembly here to mark its 50th anniversary. I sold a lot of Imishanana to foreigners. Kenyans too buy my Mushanana a lot. I do a lot of business with people from East Africa. This business is all I have and with it I manage to pay my children's school fees and food to sustain us. <laughs> The Umushanana, if picked correctly, will see you oozing with beauty. And it is said that any woman will just look elegant in this garment. That is, if you pick the fabric correctly. For KTN News in Rwanda, I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting.